Mares. And still, might have decided to go down there. Left footed shot is shoveled away. Easy tapping. Easy goal. Jamie Vardy could hardly miss. Alex McCarthy in the Queen's Park Rangers goal, given his start. And it's not what he would have wanted, exactly what he wanted in the week he's called up for England. Jamie Vardy puts Leicester in the lead. Well, he sniffs it out with Jamie Vardy. But first and foremost, look at the defending. Mares loses control of the ball in the box, goes out of the box, still put under no pressure. Look at Mares here, he tries to dribble into the box, loses possession, comes out of it, and still allowed to turn and take a shot from 25 yards under no pressure. And it is poor goalkeeping in powering it out, but Vardy there, his first look is towards the assistant. The assistant flag stays down, and he puts the home side ahead. But it just emphasises how Queen's Park Rangers have been so poor this season because there's a catalogue of mistakes in the opening goal. Initially, no pressure on Mares, and then nobody backing up the goalkeeper. Now this could be danger. Mares to Jamie Vardy with only one thing on his mind. Really good intervention from Dunn, but it's still with Mares. Riyad Mares! Nobody there. Well, it's an awful finish, but it's a mesmerising run. He's got so much pace and he's so direct. And just what I talked about, Jonathan, in terms of the transition, uh, Queen's Park Rangers have got a huge problem because they haven't got enough athleticism in their team. He's shown how it can be exploited upon here because he picks it up on the halfway line. He just keeps on running and running, picks out a pass to Vardy. He gets thwarted by Dunn. But look again how easy it is for him to pick up the pieces and again get into a position to get a shot away. It's a poor finish to an ex exciting run. Schlupp has put one in, and Rob Brighton has scored. Schlupp bursts down the left-hand side, and Mark Albrighton has hammered in Leicester City's second goal. A real lightning break. It's just his second of the season, and Leicester have established full control. Well, they threatened it. It's no surprise. It's a real stunning strike. But we talked about it, we just looked at replay showing how Leicester are still on the front foot, uh, they're attacking at pace and all smiles for Mark Albrighton. It's a real stunner. Great first touch by Schlupp and look how he gets in behind the Queen's Park Rangers back line and then he picks it, pulls the ball back into an astute area, hoping that a teammate may be coming into that area and Albrighton is. And it's a real difficult finish. In it comes, dealt with by McCarthy, but only heard as far as Mores. And this is Albrighton. Morgan into third. Well, I don't know if it's a Joas, he certainly wants it. Morgan had the initial shot. I think it flicked off the striker. Either way, McCarthy's beaten. And his afternoon goes from bad to worse. QPR now 3 0 down. Well, no fingers can be pointed at the goalkeeper this time because he comes to him so quickly. The shot from Wes Morgan, does it deflect off a Choa or Richard Dunn? Either way, Leicester have a 3 0 lead. And then what we have to decide now is this Wes Morgan's goal or a Choa's or Dunn's concede. That doesn't really tell the story. A Choa puts his hands up. To say it's his. Mares now inviting Albrighton forward again. He's gone past Gregor Cox again. Out as far as can be Asso. He's urged to shoot! Oh, that is fabulous! Takes a bow, and why not? The player of the season, with arguably the goal of the game. Leicester City are running riot. They lead by four goals to nil. Well, the scoring started with Vardy. I said it's the perfect week for Vardy. And it's the perfect week also for Cambiasso. Voted player of the season, rightly so. And he applauds all the fans. He takes a bow. And I'm sure the home fans realise how important, how integral Cambiasso has been in them staying in the league. And it's a real quality, technical finish. It's the perfect first touch 
just to get it out of his body and then he just cuts across it with that wonderful left foot and fires it into the far corner giving the keeper no chance it's a real clinical finish and it's four and we wonder now how many it will be at the end of this game that look tells you everything uh, Les Ferdinand such a fantastic player for the club and he has to watch this oh that's gone in completely out of nowhere Ironic cheers, and Charlie Austin has got himself on the score sheet. The Queen's Park Rangers fans finally have something to cheer. Hopefully he has a good five or six minutes of Premier League football. Kramaric! That'll do it. Leicester City have five. It has been a standout display from the home side. One many here will remember for many, many years. Number 40 will see them break the 40-point barrier in the Premier League. What an afternoon. Oh, what an afternoon, a real classy finish. The young lad's just come on as a sub and you won't want to look back at that one too many times. Just deflects off him and goes into the path of Kramerich who provides a real clinical finish again. Just smashes it past the keeper into the far corner. No icing on the cake. It's a, the absolutely perfect day for Leicester and their fans.